This is tutorial is made by Dr. Ram Chand. In this tutorial, we will simulate static granular pile in vertical cylinder. Because our cylinder will be along Y axis, so we will choose ZX plane. Select ZX plane, and sketch a circle on it. Choose any desire value of radius. I have chosen 0.05 M. Now extrude this 2D circle along Z axis to make it a 3D shape of cylinder. Cylinder looks smaller, you can make it larger by increasing it value. I increase it up to 0.2 M. It looks good now. Rename top surface as top and bottom as bottom. Rename cylinder equal wall as side wall. We can use these names later on when we analysis data. Now close 3D CAD. Write this 3D CAD model and click New Geometry Part. Choose Default Values and hit OK. Now right click parts and assign these to regions. Choose each part per surface and hit Apply. Now choose Mesh Models from Continua node. Choose Surface Ream Shear and Trimmer Models. Set base value to 0.01 meter. And then create mesh by hitting mesh icon in the menu bar. It will generate mesh. To see created mesh, click view mesh icon from drop down menu. Mesh looks good. Now we will define physics. Choose physics models. We will choose these models for modeling dem granular particles. I think these models are enough to create our simulation. Now we will define our granular material. Rename it as particles or whatever name you like good. Now we will choose models for our granular material. After choosing models, close it. Now we can set the values of DEM particles, but I will leave it as default values. Now I will define interactions. There are two interactions, particle to particle and wall to particle. We have to define both. I will leave default values. Rename both interactions. Because our cylinder is along Y axis, so we will set value of gravity along it.
Now I will create grid for injector. This injector will inject particles into our cylinder. Place this at top so that particles inject into cylinder from top and settle down at bottom. Set value to this grid as dem particles. Now create injector and make this grid as part of it. Now define particle diameter, number of particle flow etc. Set velocity along negative y axis. Setting larger values will inject particles quickly and it will free the injector for generating new particles. Set some values of solver and stopping criteria. Finally we will create scalar scene to visualize our simulation. Set the value of opacity of geometry to lower so that we can see inside of cylinder. Now our simulation setup is complete. Hit run to run the simulation. Go to scalar scene to see the live simulation. Particles are smaller, so let make them larger and also increase the flow rate and modify the inject velocity. Let first clear the simulation and re-inject particles from start. Now looks good. We can modify the flow rate and inject velocity to see the better result.
In this way we can fill up the cylinder. In next tutorial we will analysis data and plot graphs. Tutorial is created by Dr. Ram Chand. It is production of Ram's Classroom. Thank you for watching.